Welcome to my unboxing of AMD Memory. But AMD doesn't make memory, you might say. To which I would reply, AMD also doesn't technically make CPUs, now that they don't have their own fabs. However, that does not prevent AMD from qualifying and validating and marketing memory with the right partner. So, in the case of their CPUs, their partners are guys like Global Foundries, which is actually a spin-off of AMD's old, old fabs. Um, in this case, I am not going to tell you who the partner is for the memory, but I think you'll be able to figure it out by the time I'm done with the video. So I'm not going to take a look at the... Oh shoot, what are they called? Uh, right. Entertainment, performance, and Radeon grade memory separately. This is going to be more of an overview of what is an, what is an AMD memory. Um, in general, rather than looking at every single grade, but entertainment is the lowest end, performance is the mid-grade, and then Radeon is the high end. So this is performance. This is CL8, 1.5 volt, 1333 megahertz RAM. It's a 2x4 gig kit. You're not going to find any triple or quad channel kits because AMD CPUs are all using dual channel controllers from the A6s and A8s, the APUs of the world, that is combination CPU GPUs on one chip, all the way up to their Black Edition FX chips. So AMD performance, let's see what they have to say for themselves. AMD Performance Edition DDR DDR3 memory kits are specifically designed for the latest generation AMD processors. They utilize low profile heat spreaders for enhanced cooling performance built using high quality pre-screened ICs and vigorously tested. These AMD Performance Edition modules are 100% hand tested for quality assurance backed by a lifetime warranty and industry leading customer support. So here's something interesting for you guys. I actually do know for a fact that they do use pre-screened ICs and they actually lock it down to a particular build, that is to say a BOM, a build, a build of materials. So what that means is that every AMD Performance 1333 CL8 kit is using pretty much the same components as every other one. Now. Okay, isn't it always like that, you might ask? To which I would reply, absolutely not. Um, you know, look at a performance memory brand such as Corsair. On the side of their memory, you'll often see revision 1.1, 1.2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2 all the way up to, I've seen revision numbers as high as double digits on Corsair memory. So they are often changing the components, which isn't to say that's a bad thing, because particularly for high-grade memory chips, especially back in the DDR2 days, it was often necessary to change the components in order to get the yields they needed to hit those high speeds. What does that mean if, for the end user? It means that if you're upgrading, your exactly the same part number might not necessarily even work in dual channel with your other exactly the same part number but different revision RAM. It also means if you're building 10 systems at a time and you have five that are one revision and five that are another revision, you right, might run into issues where one doesn't work with another. Which brings us to the point of all of this. AMD released memory so that they would be sure that any AMD memory would work in any AMD motherboard without any fuss. Hold on a second. Okay. And maximum performance, latest generation. Okay, okay, okay. Built and supported by Patriot Memory LLC. So there you go. So, yes, it is a very, very well known lifetime warranty, actually still build modules in North America brand that is building and supporting these for AMD. They have black PCBs, which I think is a must on anything that you're going to call performance edition, which is on the other side. And then you got your sort of standard part number built by Patriot. See, it's not really a secret, really. Uh, warranty void if removed. You don't want to take this off. There's a low profile heatsink, and I think that pretty much wraps it up. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at AMD memory. Ooh.